place would be frightening for kids, you know? Big dinosaurs and stuff around. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed uh, the breakfast edition with Rosie making omelets and toast. And of course, fresh coffee. And I just can't justify going out on the road and spending $3 for a cup of uh, coffee that I'm not even going to enjoy that much. Stiff Starbucks stuff. Not no offense to you guys that enjoy Starbucks. It's just it's not my cup of coffee, so to speak. My thing is all about just you know it, it just became confusing, Jen, when all that coffee stuff exploded. You couldn't go in and just get a regular cup of Joe in. Well, it's got to be a triple latte. Had the triple with latte the with the Trista vanilla, just a spritz of. Twist the lime and curry and whatnot. It's like, holy crap. We are saying hasta la vista to the town of Our Garville coffee, today. We had like four cups of coffee and that cost us maybe 50 cents. Yeah, 50 cents. If, if they were cheap. I mean, if imagine, even that yeah. much. We're just trying to say if you're going to boondock, you can really boondock comfortably. And it has nothing to do with experience. I don't consider people that live in a Walmart parking lot boondocking, you know, where there's no, you know, where nobody cares if you're there or not, right? Management. Right. We're talking about places that people care if you're, <laughs> if, if you're there or not. Right. That's real boondocking. You know, so you it's not a question of being grounds. an expert or not. It's a question of bringing, being able to sustain yourself comfortably on the road and not spending a fortune you're seeing the same like I said this morning at breakfast you're seeing the same kind of sights that these other people are seeing here on uh, on and around Guerneville they got these hoity-toity uh, clothing optional LGBT clubs and stuff they're 250 bucks 250 bucks a night not what I want We're now moving, for those of you who are playing the home game, and of course many of you are, we're now moving west out of the town of Guerneville. We're heading out uh, Highway 116 here. And this will intersect Highway 1. We're going to be going through the little town of Monterio, which was all the rage in the 1930s. Monterio was huge. I encourage you guys to go look at look up Monterio, M-O-N-T-E-R-I-O, and look at it in its heyday with a ballroom and all those. Remember that, Jen? Oh, we went Monterio metal detecting. Was it was enormous, blooming, booming. And uh, the first time we oh, metal the high detected, society was coming there. The first time we metal detected, within five minutes, I had a mercury head dime. Out of there. We didn't get anything else, but uh, we did some research. We figured some stuff out, and we went in there. So <laughs> enjoy the view. Then we're going to turn north and go up uh, Route One. Maybe take a little peek over at Goat Goat Beach, uh, Goat Rock Beach over there. And uh, then we're going to go up and explore a little bit of the Russian influence in wine country here. Enjoy.
to the little town of Duncan's Mills. And it's kind of a town that's split on both sides. And the thing with this, uh, this little town, they do a lot of what's called Civil War reenactments down here. I don't know why. I don't know what the connection is, but we'll kind of just drive through here a little bit. Historic Duncan Mills, you can see the little general store there. Kind of cool from the 1870s. Huh? Just got to talk over the music a little bit here. <clears throat> Amazing. It's probably good stuff from out in the countryside here. <clears throat> Records, everything in here, huh? Amazing the cross section of stuff you get. Okay. Seen enough?